Hey everyone and welcome into today's video. I just looked at the markets and they're green. I'm pretty happy. I'm singing. <laughs> uh, we've got BNG up. We've got them up 8%. I'm just looking at the charts now. We've got even uh, Planet 13 is up a few percent. We've got Palantir up at $22.30. I'm looking at this at mid-afternoon. So the markets have been going up. We have a very green day. Our ALPP is up 11.5%. Wow, that's some nice moving. So obviously, it, this is why we don't have paper hands, guys, because if this market trend does continue to pick up over the next couple of weeks and months, then we are going to see those lovely rises in that share price. We're going to be out the red and into the green. And this is why we can't have too much panic obviously if you are in it for the long term you have to remember why you are invested because if you want to actually have those gains on your account it is a long waiting game you can't just play that one week the markets are down maybe the markets are down for a few months but you've got to have a long term mindset like i said on the s p 500 if you go back over 50 years you're always going to get times to buy but if you just hold and you sell it after a few years you are going to make that compounded interest especially if you're investing in the right companies and i really truly believe on this channel we talk about some incredible companies guys that are life-changing we've got genomic and dna sequencing things that are going to be cured we're going to cure diseases we're going to be curing pediatric blindness cancer so many different illnesses amazing things like diabetes things that i have so this is why obviously it's worth having those diamond hands staying strong with your conviction keeping your radar and the laser focus and obviously just buying and just holding. And in fact, if you see a price of your stock over the next six months that's down on a red day, don't be upset. Be happy because you can buy it at a low price. You can take your average down. That's going to lower your risk for the long term. And then once that price does start to turn around, which it will do, guys, there's always going to be transitions between value, growth, recovery, all sorts of different stocks and sectors, crypto as well. But this is why you stay diversified. If anything, this market correction should have taught us, guys, to stay diversified in our portfolio. It's so, so, so important. The layers of diversification and also the arc of of averaging down are two real life-changing scenarios that we can actually use to our benefit as a tool that we can learn from these higher growth and tech stock corrections that happened in the markets recently. So I'm really happy to report the news to you guys that of course we are now sitting up a little bit more on those green days. Well I was also just looking at NEO and also NCLH obviously the cruise line is up over 10% today so potentially if we get this down to around $25 guys then this could be a nice place to start loading the boat for Norwegian cruise line because it was back down in these ranges in February and it has obviously started to shoot up potentially that $26 range was almost reaching a buy zone for me I hadn't alerted the patrons but if it did go below $25 which it almost did over the last few days then this would have been a really really lovely play so uh, this is uh, some of the other recovery stocks right now that I'm watching because they're very volatile volatile and they are moving around with these prices again as we still have a lot of the Roni Rona going on. I'm also looking at Pack B. Someone on the Discord did bring this up. This was for D and they were asking is this in a good buy zone? Now with Pack B guys, the ticker symbol PACB, Pack Bioscience is the company on genomic sequencing. If you want to understand more about what the genomic sequence is, then be sure to watch this video. I've done a full breakdown on genomic sequencing. I've done a full breakdown on Casper and also uh CRISPR with Pack B, all individual videos. So be sure to check out any of the links above because it goes into a full breakdown of these companies. I'm very bullish on DNA sequencing, but it is going to take a very, very long time. This could be something to hold in your portfolio over the next five to 10 years, and they may stay very stagnant for the next year. Now, this company did have a very good quarter, which is why they pushed up to about $52. Unlike CRISPR that are losing money right now, and also in beta, which are investing very, very aggressively, Pack B is actually a profitable company as far as I'm aware. Now, Pack B, obviously, if this price does come down to a layer of support around that $20, $40, zone and below, then this is going to be a really nice place to load up because this, moving forward, guys, DNA sequencing is going to be a massive industry. I do believe that at birth, what we are going to see moving into the next decade is that babies will have their genomic sequence read and we will be told by doctors and nurses what we will be susceptible to as diseases through our lifetime, through our DNA sequencing. They will be able to tell us from our protein readings what we can actually actually develop later in life. Now this will all be done for a very cheap price, maybe five or ten dollars, because at the moment DNA sequencing is coming down dramatically in prices and to read a genomic sequence
sequence is roughly around 40 to 50 dollars versus five and ten thousand pounds of what it was almost 10 years ago so obviously every single year it just gets cheaper and cheaper and cheaper and for every cumulative doubling as the Kathy Wood does talk about quite often then we are going to see a nice push down obviously with genomic sequencing and these companies guys once they do cure diseases like diabetes and cancer if it does happen which I do believe it could happen you have to be a believer in these things they're very big but there's so many diseases that they can cure it's not just these diseases so so many guys these companies are going to absolutely accelerate very very quickly which is why I have a position in Pac Bioscience in Invita and also in CRISPR there is also a really great documentary on Netflix I've mentioned a few times on this channel called Human Nature so go check it out it is about the CRISPR stock and it is absolutely mind-blowing it's incredible what they do with pediatric blindness and how they are in fact curing diseases right now in people obviously over around in China. So right now those are some updates on PAC-B and on NCLH and of course our fabulous NEO because NEO is up on the day we have exactly formed a triple bottom you can see up here on the charts guys that this is a very very strong triple bottom so I know that the EVs like I said have been selling off but you have to remember why you are invested and on the terms of NEO guys I was listening to some really interesting news that did come out recently over the last quarter um, some news came out in China about how many electrical vehicles have actually been sold over the last month or two with the comparison of combustion engine vehicles and right now it's about 10% of the sales are in fact electrical vehicles so this goes to show you right now how China are really really pushing this market with EVs with Neo with Xpeng with Teslas with all sorts of different companies guys and that a competition is slowly opening up to new companies out there as well but William Lee did do an interview and I did listen in if you would like a full breakdown on that then let me know below in the comments and I will be able to get that video out for you guys but basically he said that the competition is healthy because what it does is it accelerates the innovation so we shouldn't be worried when there are in fact new players in the space that people are worried about them stealing the market cap we are always going to have competition but what he's saying is it actually accelerates the trend for electrical vehicles and it actually makes more people aware and as that happens it actually pushes the market on at a better and faster speed so that's some really good news for our neo shareholders out there people like myself who have been investing in neo since it was around 18 dollars and i'm very very, very bullish that this stock will be well over $65 by the end of the year guys so I'm really not worried about these prices at $30 to $35 if it does drop down there this is a massive buy the dip opportunity guys once in a lifetime opportunity scoop up those shares while you can so I'm not going to worry about the daily fluctuations of NEO and again all of those fear monger of delisting of Chinese stocks otherwise why would Kathy Wood and Warren Buffett be holding BYDDY for example and all these other great Chinese companies so this is a uh, lovely stock I'm very happy to hold our beautiful Neo through any of the downward momentum and I'm very excited for the prosper of this future moving forward and of course this semiconductor chip shortage is just a small spot of the action right now and as we progress into the next 12 months we're going to see some incredible delivery numbers to my belief with Neo and also some of those other companies those electrical vehicle companies and again that share price we will start to see a slow pushback when Wall Street does start to transition back over so I'm not worried about about all of these market corrections I hope that this video gave you some conviction it gave you a little bit more understanding and you were able to take a breath and breathe and understand why your portfolios have been performing why they have and also if you are in fact a long-term or short-term investor because it's really worth knowing which one you are because then you can separate all the noise and you can use the volatility to your advantage so guys have a fantastic day I hope you did enjoy this video today don't forget to go on there smash the like as always if you made it this far thank you I really appreciate your support you are a legend and I really appreciate it Make sure to hit that big red subscribe button and join this family of investors. My name is Jason and I'll see you guys in my next video. Ciao.